It says reptiles out there. What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a tour of this awesome reptile store. This is called Scales and Tails in Aurora. And so as you can see, there are plenty of enclosures, plenty of things we're gonna get a chance to look at. But in the meantime, we have our special guest here. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Travis James. I am the owner of this shop along with my brother. This is my beautiful Tegu. She is about like, I wanna say two and a half feet. At three feet, I'm gonna have to take her home. I'm only allowed to have uh, lizards under three feet here oh my and uh, snakes under six feet. Really? And is that a yeah. rule for like selling or it's for a, keeping them in the shop? It's a rule for uh, all of Arapaho. You're not allowed to sell or uh, really? have animals over three feet. That is really good to know because I had no idea yeah, that there no was a size limit. Either. Is there anything that has to do with turtles? Any rules for that around no here? No turtles under four inches. So. No turtles under four inches. So that's pretty, that's pretty standard. So wait, I want to hear a little bit more about Lilith. So how old is she and have you raised her since she was little? I have not raised her since she was little. Someone came in unable to feed her. And I said, I will take this off your hands in a heartbeat. Goodness, she is beautiful. Can I pet her? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness, she she feels warm like she was just hanging out. Yeah, she was just chilling with me, sitting on oh, my lap. Hey, hey there. What is her favorite food to eat? She loves this canned skink food over here. Yeah, let's check it out. So as you can see, they bought lots of stock for different stuff. I will do a mixture of this, and then natural meats like tilapia, ground chicken, ground turkey. Hey, girl. And she loves veggies. All right, so what would you like to show me first about the shop? All right, let's see. Well, red foot tortoises over here. Oh wait, no, these are the cherry head tortoises related to the red foot. Uh, a little bit more fancy. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. This is the smallest turtle you can buy. Anything smaller than this, legal to sell. Right. But you they can give them away, but can't sell them. Right. But these will get like a lot bigger, right? They'll get like 10 to 12 inches, mm -hmm. and they're more rectangular than round. Gosh. Oh, look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. Those are beautiful. They That's love nice. their veggies every morning. They beg you for them. They'll like <laughs> bump their heads against the window, and you're like, okay, I'll feed you, I'll feed you. <laughs> Snacking on some of that. So is that just greens, assorted greens? So that's or? like a collard greens, mustard greens. Uh, there is carrots, but they ate them all. Oh, look, this one's coming out too. Hi, buddy. And how do you how do you tell the difference between the guys and the girls? So yeah, this one looks like a female. See how it's like a small V? Mm -hmm. and this one has a bigger V. Oh, so it's like the angle yeah. of these back mm -hmm. skews right here. The males will also uh, develop bigger tails, but they're young right now, so it's kind of hard to tell that way. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, they're like, hey, I was just hanging yeah, out. Yeah, they don't want to be held upside down <laughs> for too long. Yeah, poor buddy. We got very friendly beardies here. We hold oh, them yeah. daily. These are decent beginner pets. Not too ridiculous on the diet. Mm -hmm. And very friendly. Could be a little guy. And so this was, was this one of the first reptiles you ever had or how'd you start to get into breeding them and things like that? I think my first reptile wasn't even a reptile. I had, uh, I had newts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Amphibians. Little newts as a kid. And then I got a beardy. Then I got into snakes. I got king snakes and boas. Gotcha. Yeah, my uncle got me into this. He started the franchise and, uh, I think I was like four years old. He had like four foot came in on the ground and he was like, go oh sit gosh. on it. Oh my gosh. What do you mean sit <laughs> on it? As a little toddler. So these <laughs> reptiles and animals have been in your life for a really long time. Though. Yeah, I've loved them. That's really cool. I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> He's drinking some water. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. And so you guys, how long have you been at this location? February is when we opened. February, so not very long then. Yep, it's been we opened less than six months. Groundhog's Day. Oh. Yeah, just barely less than six oh. months. Almost time to change the UV bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. This is the mother of our future kids. Oh my goodness, hi sweetie. It's oh mama's. my goodness. She's beautiful. What's her name? Mama's. Mama's. Hi mama's. Look at these colors. Yeah. She is beautiful. So she already had a clutch and they're getting raised up right now? Yep, they're being raised up right now. And what is like the, the incubation period or how long does it take? So it can take guys, a month at the least and three months at the most. The higher the temperature, the faster 
but uh, if you do 90 degrees or higher, you're gonna end up with all females. And what would this morph be called? She is red, do you have hypo? No hypo, probably het for hypo. She has translucence in her and I think that's it. Red translucence and het for hypo. This guy here, a big man, oh, he's fat chunky. Too. Yeah, oh he was my eating. gosh. Yeah, wow. this is a Jesus. I call him that because every time I see him, I think Jesus. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah, he got a little red dot in his head, oh and it gosh. never goes away. So that's like an actual, just a regular pigmentation. Really though, yeah. I've never seen that before. Wow. This is my other male getting excited. He's like, hey, I see somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Is that like aggression? Yeah, that's him trying to be dominant and say breed. And this is him being like, hey, I'm a male. This isn't happening. <laughs> <laughs> he has ghost stripes, which are these right here. Mm -hmm. Tiger stripes. And then he is a citrus beardy, so he's all yellow. He has a leather back, so he's real smooth. Um, yeah. Oh, I see that. So it's like not as spiky yeah. as her up here. He is also het for translucent, or no, het for, uh, he's het for translucence, but has hypogene. Hypogene, you can tell, because their claws will be clear. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's what really hypo cool. does is reduce blacks and increase yellows and reds. All right, see you later, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, big guy. And so are these, these ones are all your personal that you're using for breeding? Yeah, I used to have a uh, movie nights with these guys, throw them all on the bed and watch movies. <laughs> That's awesome. She's like, where are my silkworms? She's like, normally when you come over here, it means food, huh? Yeah, nah. <laughs> she usually gets a uh, silkworm. She's a little more spoiled than my boys. <laughs> well, gotta keep mama happy. That's right. Yeah. Gonna be making babies. This guy will breed hopefully in a month from now when she's recovered from laying her last clutch. Mm-hmm. Because you want to give them time in yeah. between. You want to at least give a month in between clutches because uh, females, if they just pop clutch after clutch, it will lower their lifespan. Right, mm -hmm. right. That makes sense. Let's see. This guy is really cool. Open the cage for him. This is a mossy leaf tail gecko. And so, majorly here, do you have reptiles? You got some amphibians. I have frogs down there and axolotls. That's oh, okay. all the amphibians. The this guy is amazing. Oh, he's right there. Whoa. Yeah, if I had a bark background, I'd never find him. Let me. That's And then wild. I ended up taking the bark out because I was like, okay, I need to find this. Because <laughs> he's just that camouflage is amazing. I've never been like so tricked by an animal before. Leaf tail mossy gecko. Oh, that's wild though. Yeah, Just man. look at that. They got so many different types of leaf tails too. Like my gosh. Look at this one. He's super yeah, excited. Yeah, this guy's really cool. Looks like he's headed to a new home too. Yep, someone uh, put a little bit of a down payment on this guy. He's the nicer one of my two euros. That oh, yeah, one there's just the other came one. In. Hey buddy. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, that one likes to throw dirt in your face. That's so this funny. This one will run from you a little oh, bit. Oh, wow. Get Look at that there. spiky tail. They're a little bit more flighty though, huh? So if you hold them regularly, they'll be just like bearded dragons. Hey there. Oh now that he's gosh. in my hand, he's pretty calm though. Those colors are incredible. Like, you can get these in blues and greens. Really? Yeah. That's like, amazing. holy crap. This literally, like, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it literally looks like a hot Cheeto. Like the little orange spots right on yeah, the side. I'm a sucker for orange animals. That's awesome. And they like to just dig around in the sand and yep. whatnot. They love the sand. They like nice hot rock to sit on and maybe even dig under. Uh, I gave him cork as an option too, so he can climb on something. Mm -hmm. And uh, they eat more veggies than uh, bearded dragons, about 10% more. Really? And then 10% less uh, protein, obviously. Look at this guy, he's excitable. <laughs> and if you do keep them on sand, you keep them on a uh, kid's play sand or play uh, sand. not calcium sand. Right. Calcium sand turns into concrete in their mm -hmm. stomach. Right, that's, yeah. not, that's not good. All right, shall we check out? Are the turtles still around? Yeah, we got a couple of my turtles. Oh yeah, I see him. There's his face. Come tickle, tickle. Way. Come on out, buddy. Tickle, tickle. Oh, there she comes. Or is this a, is this a boy or a girl? Let's see if I can tell. Pink bellied side neck, albina. Yup. Nice. Some of these guys come uh, with a little shell defect um, and you can see their heart right Oh here. yeah, that's right. I remember Hope. I think that was Aquamike. So this top shell, beautiful. That is, yeah, that's amazing. I've never had an albino turtle yeah. before. I mean, diamondback terrapins can come pretty close, but that is super neat. She is And she has neat. no problem with eyesight. She can see yeah. just fine. That's great. And one day her neck is gonna be this long. Yeah, <laughs> look at that face too. Hello. Is she a ham when food comes out? Oh, oh yeah, she'll uh, she'll.
she'll eat any type of worm you throw in there, basically. And she doesn't bother the fish at all? Nope. That's awesome. I've always struggled with like keeping fish because mine are just so... Uh, my Diamondback Terrapin just chases everything. Chase them off. Well, but these, these guys, are great little glow light tetras? They're, yeah? uh, they're definitely tetras. I think they're glow light tetras. Yeah. Those but are uh, they're so quick, can't even mm -hmm. catch them. Yeah. Oh, it. and you even have some shrimp the in here shrimp too. shrimp are breeding so quick, <laughs> That's like, so cool. it just thrives. Awesome. Like we started with 10, now we have like 30. Oh yeah, I bet too, that with all like this moss and stuff, like I don't know if you can see all these little blue shrimp in here. Yeah. Possibly a uh, neocaridina maybe, neocaridina shrimp. And some, oh yeah, it looks like you have some algae eater, like autosynclus in yeah, there. Yeah, we had too. like three of them, but uh, <laughs> we're down to like two, I think. That's kind of what happens with algae eaters though. Sometimes they're not as smart as you would like them to be. <laughs> yeah, we had a placo. It was like this big, mm -hmm. and then someone turned in a slider and the slider went oh, after it. Oh, massacre. Oh my gosh, there's the slider. He's hiding yeah. in the moss. That's little, uh, so funny. Little slider there. He's an albino slider. Looks to me like his former care wasn't quite the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he was turned in. Yeah, so his shell is a little, uh, weird so you see how you see like in between there and there mm -hmm. i think that's a not sheds uh shell yeah. just over shed mm -hmm. he came to me mean and he would bully the other turtle really he was more aggressive yeah he'd go nip his toes every once in a while but now he's calmed down and he's much nicer so i think we're helping him out that's great oh my gosh look at him does he like eating vegetables Oh, he tears up all my plants. I can't have <laughs> living plants in there. Oh See, my gosh, look, he's got a, the sucker fish <laughs> on there, a little autosynclus helping Sometimes clean off the algae. Uh, as far as filtration on this, because I'm curious, you got your like, canister filter situation going on? or? You got a big filter. Oh, big filter. Yeah. Beefy. Sweet. My brother knows more about it because he set it up. He was watching your videos while he set oh it up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh yeah, look over here. We've got tree boa? Yeah. yeah, the sarong tree boa. Most it, of those guys are grumpy. Yeah, is he but mean? I can hold that one. Really? Look at his little face in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we got a little glass frog Dude, in there. Dude, I thought it was just like, like literally a turd or something stuck to the glass, but no. It looks like a gummy bear, right? Oh but a frog. Oh my gosh. I have literally seen pictures of these, but you can see straight through. Straight through them. You can see his intestines. And his eyeballs too on the other side. That's yep. wild. All right, here goes. Good morning. Me. I heard you the first time. And this guy will get bigger, right? Do they, are they, do I they think they get out? five feet. They don't get oh. fat like the ball pythons. Six feet for females, I believe, though. This is a male last I thought I checked. But yeah, he's a sweetheart. I have no fear of this guy. He will chill on my neck. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful And I've heard snake. like nightmare stories of these yeah, guys. Yeah, me too. Because they, they got be really huge vicious. teeth. So man. are they the ones that, so they, when they hatch, they start out a different color and then they change? They start right? off a uh, yellow and red for the first year of their life, and mm -hmm. then they turn to this green. This guy's uh, a little special because he got the blue down the back oh, with the yeah. white spots. So cool. And then when you set them away, it's the coolest thing. I'll just curl up on there. And they're just always perching like that, huh? Because mm -hmm. like every time I see a green tree python, they're always kind of yeah, arranged. Yeah, they love their uh, perches and their height more than their width. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. You got that little prehensile tail. Hey, how you doing? That's so cool. Very slow and methodical too. Yeah, very intentional with this movement. Watching them eat is another thing, man. Mm. Like, you'll hang it in front of them, they'll sniff it for a second, and then they'll just lunge out of nowhere. And it'll dangle, like, right here, and they'll eat it right here, dangling. Oh my I've gosh. I've never seen anything like it. Definitely don't want to get on your bad side, but. Oh, girl. Oh, and the glass frog again. How cool is that? I'm sorry, I literally can't even believe that that's a frog. <laughs> Our arrow frogs are laying eggs. Really? We're about to figure out how to incubate them, because. I want to see little tadpoles. So oh, see yeah. on that leaf right there? Oh yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, they laid eggs. And that red one's the one that laid them. And they're so small. They're like literally thumb mm -hmm. size. They'll get a little smaller than those green ones. Than these there. ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at them. There they are in the back. Those little are your frogs. typical poison dirt. Typical but beautiful. Those colors yeah. are just awesome. They're so had, uh, some of the cobalts, the yellow with blue legs. Mm -hmm. Those guys sell quick. 
Yeah, they're beautiful. Can you mm. now? Can you mix with poison dart frogs? Keep can them you together, mix them? But I don't know if they'll crossbreed. Oh, I see. So you yeah. wouldn't want to like. We had the cold bolts in here with them, and they did just fine. Gotcha. Up here, let's see if I can find her. We have a pregnant chameleon. They shipped a pregnant chameleon okay, to us, and I'm like, ooh, that's Did cool. they know she was pregnant? I don't know. She's so fat. How could you not? So female rainbow Jacksons oh, Jackson. have that little horn, yeah. and they're usually not fat like this. Oh, yeah, because she's pretty chunky. She is, like, the chunkiest. Would she get bigger than that? Uh, Jacksons that like don't get size? much bigger than this. Because I know I've seen some pretty big veils before. Veils are the biggest you can get. But yeah, Jacksons don't get much bigger. It's almost like a little rhinoceros, but a reptile oh, version. <laughs> now, have you seen them do the, like the tongue thing when they're eating? Yeah, man, they got long tongues. They're crazy. That's super cool. They're real accurate too. I've hardly ever seen one miss. <laughs> Sounds unlike my my reptiles. They're not that great hunters. Well, at least my my leopard gecko. He sucks. <laughs> Leopard geckos are a little derpy when it comes to hunting. It is true. Yeah. I got one in back. No matter what I do or what I feed it, he doesn't gain weight. <laughs> there you go. We have a white tree frog over here. That might be a blue-eyed white tree oh, frog. Oh yeah, look at him. But do they get bigger than that or fatter than that? They get huge. They'll get yeah. bigger than my fist. Really? Yeah. So this is just like a little juvie then? That's a little juvenile one. And you could keep them together as long as they're not like ridiculously different size because they will eat each other. And so these are all live plants then? Yeah, this is a bioactive enclosure. This one's bioactive. And then these two are bioactive. Neat. Yeah, That's we're trying to do a lot of bioactive because it lasts longer. Yeah. It looks better. Right. And for frogs especially, it's just the way to go. They right. love it. It right. holds the humidity. It mm -hmm. helps the water stay clean in the environment stay clean oh yeah look at you got a little snack there lilith how's that snack yeah good girl oh good girl look at that oh she just ate that whole thing in one bite yep, it's a whole chunk. yum yum doesn't leave anything behind <laughs> not at all no leftovers of that one She's like looking for more with that tongue. Oh, yeah, she is. So yeah. with tanks, I try to feed them live food as little as possible and keep some tank. Right. But it's always good for a little treat. Oh, Sight so Whoa! Snapped it right out of my hands. Brutal. Yeah. Good girl. Dang, down the hatch. That was like fast. I've got the axolotls over here. Oh, you've got some different morphs in here too. This is a copper axolotl. So we change this every two days. This mm -hmm. is the second day. So tonight we're gonna dump this out, take out all of that mm -hmm. nastiness, give them fresh water. Typically we use a prime for the conditioner. You gotta keep them uh, cold though. Yep. Most animals you keep them warm. Oh. These guys you gotta keep cold. So yeah, they I like see. 65 degrees. You set them on this, this gets them about 64. Mm -hmm. And then when it's like midday, you gotta switch it out. Golden albino. You can tell they're albino if you can't see their eyes. Yep. And we've got some other froggies in here too, huh? Pac-Mans and chubby frogs. Oh my goodness, you have sand boas too. Look at this. Well, Look at that cutie. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Stop. This guy, kind of like the glass frogs, you can see his uh, innards. Yeah. So that's a snow, right? Yep. This is the snow sand boa, yep. Oh my gosh, this was one of my, my dream ones when I first started out. I was like, if I'm gonna get a snake, I'll get a teeny little worm like that. Yeah. It's like literally the size of an earthworm. Can I hold it? Yep. Oh my gosh, look how small. And they're so calm too. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one actually bite a person. I've seen them do a little fake strike where they'll like whip <laughs> around, but never actually like hold on to someone. I'd imagine that they have to eat like super tiny pinkies or something. They though. eat day old pinkies at this size. Oh my gosh. So teeny. This oh. is probably one of my favorite snakes right here. So cute. Your Cali oh, Highlight. Cali King. All right, you can go back. I have a 10-year-old female that's this one, and it escaped for two years <gasps> in my house. Oh my gosh. I thought real? it was dead. Yeah, I had gone to California on vacation, came back, and found like the smallest little hole in the screen, and I was like, are you kidding me? Two years later, I saw the tail peeking out from under my dryer. So she survived and she was just survived like... survived and she's healthy. Oh my goodness, what a beauty. It's like cookies and cream. Or like a racetrack. Yeah. That's so cool. This is so cool. 
These are my baby beardies. They're about a month old right now. Oh my gosh. We have a tiny. hypo uh, citrus red with ghost stripes. He has the tiger stripes. And then over here, this is the same thing, but with leather back. So he has oh. even more detail on his pattern. So they like show those traits like right away. Mm -hmm. The colors develop more and more as they get bigger, but you'll see the leather back from birth and uh, you'll see the stripes from birth. And they're just so small. They're yeah, they so started powerful. half that size, smaller than my wow. thumb. But then they get huge and chunky. So how long yeah. does it take for them to like get to full grown? Like a couple of uh, years? It takes one year to reach maturity. The red one mamas is about a year and a half. And who's this here? This is Eve, my personal pet. Yeah. And what kind of snake is she? She is a leopard boa. She's a dwarf type, so they stop at six feet, about Me. as long as this counter. She has iridescence all over, yeah. so if you walked in the sun, you'd see rainbows. That's so and, cool. And uh, as I said before, I'm a sucker for orange, so she got that orange belly. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Oh yeah, you can kind of see some of the... Iridescence, yeah. some yeah. of the iridescence. In the sun, it's like oil slick. Yeah, and these are all, so these are all like custom, custom these cages, are or they're from, from um, showcase cages. Uh, showcase cages, mm -hmm. neat. Yeah, these are really cool. Yeah, just like everyone else, it's about a four to six month wait, because yeah. this material is apparently rare nowadays. Really? <laughs> but it's neat because they're all just modular, so you're able to kind of stack them how you want. It's already perfectly there, you got the space for your lights. That's right. That's Very nice cages. Cool. So that has been the tour of Scales and Tails Aurora with Travis. Thank you so much You're welcome. for Anytime. taking us around. This has been super cool to see all the animals you have here. And definitely, if you guys are in the area, come check this place out. I mean, we filmed a lot. I'm sure not even all of it made it into the video. So you just need to come check it out for yourself. Say hi to Travis and his brother who run this place. So definitely come check it out. And thank you so much for having me. For awesome. sure, come back anytime. So if you did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>